The Vatican has never made any public pronouncement about the electronic voice phenomena. But this priest knows the secret of the Pope and the ghost voices. Inside a Belgian monastery, a priest lies dead. A guest at the funeral is one of Europe's foremost theologians. He is also keeper of a deep secret. Fifty years ago, the Pope believed he heard the voice of a dead man. My name is François Brun, and I am a Catholic priest in the Catholic Church, and I uh, studied in the Institut Catholique in Paris, in the Biblical Institute in Rome, and I was professor for theology or Holy Scripture in France. Father Brune has written three books about the electronic voice phenomena, declaring it to be one of the most significant religious events of the century. Through these experiments, we have more and more the proof of the life after the death. Father Brune's most remarkable claim is that the Catholic Church itself first discovered the voice phenomena. Father Brune learnt this from another priest. I know very well the Father Ernetti, and he told me a story, a very fantastic story. In 1952, the Vatican's university in Milan had acquired a new electronic recorder. Father Ernetti was helping the Pope's chief scientist, Father Gemelli, to record chanted prayers. They were trying in this laboratory to record voices of monks who were singing in the Gregorian. There were only a wire recorders and very often the wire broke. And uh, one time, that was the uh, 17th of November, 1952, the wire broke again. And uh, since his childhood, Father Gemelli, when he had uh, some difficulty in the life, said, oh, Father, help me, without thinking very strongly to his father each time. And this time he did again his small knot. And instead of hearing the voices singing in Gregorian, it was the voice of his father from the beyond, who said, of course I'm helping you. I am always with you. And Father Medjemeli was afraid and stopped the record immediately. Of course, for Father Gemelli, at the beginning, it was dreadful to hear the voice of his father. Because in the Old Testament, we have many passages saying all communication with the dead are forbidden. In 1952, the two Catholic priests were so shaken by their discovery, they sought the highest religious advice. After this experiment in Milan, they went to the Pope. It was Pius XII. They went to the Pope because they thought it was uh, something fantastic, uh, probably uh, something which could help the faith to the eternal life. As the Pope listened to the electronic voice, his priests asked if they had sinned by summoning the dead. Pius XII had a very positive position, saying that a recorder is objective and cannot uh, transform what he receives. He receives waves from another dimension and uh, give again these waves without any uh, influence from a medium. That is not the same thing as in Spiritism. And this could be the, dis uh, the beginning of a scientific discovery who could help to the faith in the eternal life. 
This experiment, however, was not published, not yet. Oh.